Instruct the patient to sit erect in bed or in a chair facing the nurse. A young child or a patient who is acutely ill may lie back against the bed with the head of the bed raised. Collecting a throat specimen for culture. Have a swab and the culture tube ready for use. If using a prepackaged culture swab in a tube, loosen the top so the swab can be removed easily. Instruct the patient to tilt his or her head backward. If the patient is in bed, place a pillow behind his or her shoulders. Ask the patient to open his or her mouth and say, ah. Depress the anterior third of the tongue with a tongue blade and note any inflamed areas of the pharynx or tonsils. Illuminate with pen light as needed. Insert the swab without touching the lips, teeth, tongue, cheeks, or uvula. Gently but quickly, swab the tonsillar area from side to side, making contact with any inflamed or purulent sites. Carefully withdraw the swab without touching the oral structures. Insert the swab into the culture tube and push the tip into the liquid medium at the bottom of the tube. Secure the top of the culture tube. Collecting a nasal specimen for culture. Have the swab and the culture tube ready for use. If using a prepackaged culture swab in a tube, loosen the top so the swab can be removed easily. Ask the patient to alternately occlude each nostril and exhale. Position the patient with his or her head back and use a pen light to check the nasal passages for patency. If the patient is in bed, place a pillow behind his or her shoulders. Carefully insert the swab into the nostril until it reaches the portion of mucosa that is inflamed or contains exudate. Rotate the swab quickly. Remove the swab without touching the sides of the nose. Insert the swab into the culture tube and push the tip into the liquid medium at the bottom of the tube. Secure the top of the culture tube. Offer the patient a facial tissue to blow his or her nose if needed. Collecting a nasopharyngeal specimen for culture, swab method. Have the swab in the culture tube ready for use. If using a prepackaged culture swab in a tube, Loosen the top so the swab can be removed easily. Use a special swab on a flexible wire that can be flexed downward to reach the nasopharynx via the nose. Gently advance the swab to the nasopharynx until resistance is met. Roll the swab and allow it to remain in place for several seconds. Insert the swab into the culture tube and push the tip into the liquid medium at the bottom of the tube. Secure the top of the culture tube. Collecting a nasopharyngeal specimen for culture, wash method. Prepare the catheter or tubing by flushing with approximately 2 to 3 milliliters of saline. Instruct the patient to tilt his or her head backward 30 degrees. If the patient is in bed, place a pillow behind his or her shoulders. Instill 1 to 1.5 milliliters of non-bacteriostatic saline into nair. Insert the tubing into the nair and suction secretions. Repeat the procedure for the other nair per the practitioner's order. Insert the specimen into a sterile container. Place the top securely on the sterile container. After collecting specimen, in the presence of the patient, label the specimen per the organization's practice. Prepare the specimen for transport. Place the labeled specimen in a biohazard bag. Note on the laboratory requisition if the patient is taking an antibiotic or if a specific organism is suspected, for example, B. pertussis. If the specimen requires ice for transport, place the specimen in a biohazard bag, then place the bag with the specimen into a second biohazard bag filled with ice slurry. 
Immediately transport the specimen to the laboratory.